First Corinthians. How many thank God for saving them? Come on. Really think about the goodness of Jesus. See, that's the kind of stuff that keeps you from complaining when you just begin to think about the goodness of Jesus. Amen. I, I've held uh, each of you in my heart today just riding around the city and seeing patients. And, and I mean that what I say. A lot of people are not in their right mind. A lot of people reject prayer. And I'm like, you on your last leg. You on your, this this might be your last hour. Might be mine too. Come on. But you don't know where you're going to spend eternity. I do. Come on. Well, those are the differences between our lives. Yeah. Come on. And so um, the Lord has been so gracious to us. So while you're in 1 Corinthians, I was looking at us. I'm so uh, glad that you all came out tonight. Saints don't press no more. Yeah. No. No. The saints don't press no more. They don't push. They don't know. They don't know how to push in no more. They don't know how to press in. You know, she was praying when we came in. They don't know how to how to press in no more. Come on, see that's the kind of stuff that the remnant is going to be looking for when the remnant shows up. That press in because come on, because come they're on, used on. to the presence of the Lord that takes time to 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 evoke. Come on, come on. He, he just don't show. He just don't walk in. Come on, come now. on. It, it ta he takes time to evoke him. Come on, yes. come on it's just like uh, 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 you in a relationship. Come on, when we first meet each other. Come on. You, I don't like you like that yet. Come on, somebody. we, we got to take some time with each other. I, I got to have time to get to know you before you can start touching me like that. Go on, yeah. no, I, time. Yeah. Oh. Saints don't press no more. Oh. We sit, don't come to church. Oh. I was telling my daughter outside, I've been having arthritic flare ups. I'm still flared up. I'm talking about it is at its peak today, but I wouldn't go miss church tonight. Man, I know that's I wasn't going to make no excuses. Tell me, well, you know, my back and stuff hurt. But see, that's me because I know how to press into the presence of the Lord. Come on and get healed. Come yeah. on, come on, somebody. Come on, because see, that's where you get healing from. That's See, the woman up with the issue of blood, she pressed like that. Come on. She 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 said, I know that oh. Jesus is coming. Jesus didn't know she was coming. Come right. on. She knew he was coming. Come right. on, somebody. Come on. He knew that he was needed in the Come on, y'all. He knew he was needed in the city. And she came to the door was like, look, <laughs> I, 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 I believe that he's the one. Come on, yeah. come on. I already know it. I've already conceived it in my mind. But all I got to do is get to one of the hems of his garment and touch him. And I'm, I'm going to be made whole. The Bible declares, <laughs> composes, come on, scripted, that when she touched the hem of his garment, it was instant. Uh, within the same hour, uh, dried up. Uh, and she went on, got her color back. Come, come on, on. Stop bleeding. Come on. Come on. That's how we're going tonight, though. So, 1 Corinthians. Because I want to say this tonight. Because this 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 revival that we're having is, is to wake up the dead in you. Come on, yeah. somebody. Because, cause see, sometimes dead stuff can still be in you. Okay. It could be lying dormant. Yeah. And see, that revival, and, that, and I'm very careful with the term revival because not all the time you need a revival. Sometimes you just need a, a, a camp meeting. Come on, I just said something right there. Sometimes you just need a camp meeting. And, and you just need to sit in the camp with one another and pray and sing songs of Zion and get the word. Come on, somebody, yes. and get encouraged and get strengthened. But the Lord said revival because something may be dead in us that we need to wake back up again. Come on. And, and he said to me, let me just get to the word because I'm going to get ahead of myself. Because I get ahead of myself tonight on this right here. Because I've been listening to this all day. Come on, somebody. Come on. I had to do a training with a lady and I was just like, yeah, you know, y'all messing up my time. Oh. Come on, somebody. Uh -uh. I was glad when they said that to me. Who? What? Come on. So I had to train. I had to stop my study. Come on. But but I had. I was, it was already in me. Come on. So let's go to First Corinthians chapter one. Okay. Come on. Y'all never been there. Somebody mess it up for you. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Real tough. And I looked at this because of the Apostle Paul. Come on. Come on. He just. I. I just, I, I'm baffled at, at Paul's writings and his teachings sometimes because he said this was a letter unto the church of God, which is in Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. Come on, he, he, he hit them with a two-piece in the very beginning. Just go to verse two real quick. <laughs> called to be a saint. Come on, with all that in every place call upon uh, the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. Come on, then he's hit him with grace be unto you in peace. Uh, from our God, uh, from, from, from God our Father, and, and, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, he hit him real smoothly with, with a couple in the first uh, four or five verses. Then he goes over to 18. Let's, let's, let's start at 17. He says, for I, Christ, 
Wait, let, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for the word tonight. I pray, God, that you would uh, fill my mouth with blood. And as I open it to share your words, God, that the blood may spit on your people, God, and, and, and allow them to live through the word in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Let me not bruise the scriptures or the, the, the revelation behind them, God. We thank you for your word tonight. And we ask, God, that the spirit of the living God will continue to be in this place and begin to feed us the bread from heaven that we want no more. Fill us up tonight to full and overflow. In Jesus' name, amen. So in 17, it says, for Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. I, I want to talk about preaching the gospel tonight. He sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. The gospel. Not with wisdom of words. Come on, because we've got a lot of charismatic people out there. Come on. He said, not with the wisdom of words, lest the cross of, of Christ should be made of none effect. Yeah. See, your words don't don't do it. Amen. So anytime you talk about you want to be a preacher Amen. and you got too many notes, uh, uh some neighbor, because the Bible says the letter is what killeth. Yeah. But the spirit is what brings eternal life. Right. And so right in here, he said, I'm, 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 I'm called to, to baptize. I, I'm not called to preach. I, I, I mean, I'm not I, I, I'm not to preach the gospel, uh, 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 but to preach the, the gospel, but 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 with, with wisdom, not with the wisdom of words. See, that's what messes people up, the wisdom of words. Mm. Come on, come the on. The coming that come on, can we just go, can I just take a pause for a minute? Because 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 the cunningness of man, the craftiness no. of man has is what has ruined the church. No. I know. No. Come on. It has ruined the church. What well, it's trying, let me take it back. It's tried. It's tried. Okay. It tried. It has tried to destroy the edifice that God has put together that's called his holy church. It has tried to destroy the bride. Come on, that kind of, when you look at abusive relationships, come on, come on, the, 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 the abuse tries to just, from, from, from the, the head, tries to destroy the bride. Well, the church is, is Jesus Christ's bride. Yeah, yeah. And he said, I'm coming back for my bride, and I don't want her blemished. I don't want her spotted. I don't want her wrinkled. I want her clean for me. Come on, somebody. And so if I'm going to stand up and preach with words of wisdom, then, then I'm in the right place. But if I'm going to preach from my own wise crap, then I'm not in the right place. Yeah. Because what I'm doing is I'm bruising. Come on, I'm bruising the bride. Come on, y'all. Come on, God. God. Come on, God. Come on, Holy Ghost. Lest the cross of Jesus Christ uh, uh, should be made of none effect. So why did he die? That's why y'all gonna stand up and do it. Do it in your own strength. Come yeah. on. Why did he die and send the comforter if you don't know who the comforter is? Why did he die and send the Holy Ghost if you can accept the Holy Ghost and be baptized, filled with fire? Come on. Coming up, coming up with cloven tongues, spitting light to the people of God. Come on, somebody. Come on. He said in 18, yes. for the preaching of the cross come on, three. is to them that perish foolishness. Come on. But Unto us which are saved. Notice I said us. Come on. And notice Paul said us. He didn't say to them. He said which to us who are saved. Yeah. It is the power of God. Mm. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. Mm. And will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Mm. That's why he says my ways higher than your ways. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. Because your foolishness Come on. is as a filthy rags. Your righteousness is as a filthy rags. My foolishness. Come on, come on. He says, let, let, to go to uh, uh, where's the dead God? Because come on, God was really, really talking to me about this today. Uh, uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 4. Go to chapter 4. That's, 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 that's what y'all like to do. That, 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 that's not that's not the order of, of, of the way that it's supposed to go in the kingdom. That that's not the order. It's foolishness the way that y'all want to do it. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and, and, and verse 20. He says, he says, um, wait a minute, let's just go to 18. Now some are puffed up as though I would not come to you. Come on, because y'all didn't know I was coming with this kind of power. See, see, y'all used to seeing the, the Saul. That, that's what y'all, y'all used to seeing Saul of Tarsus. Come on, y'all, y'all used to see him with a machete and knife. Come on, you used to seeing me spit venom, now I'm coming to spit fire. Come on, you, you used to seeing me uh, 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 coming in and asking for that one and that one and rolling out the scroll with the names on it so we can murder them. But now I'm coming to give life and y'all not, you, come on, y'all not ready for that. Yeah. 
See, we, see, see, I, I keep saying this and I have to keep saying this. I know you feel like that's repeating itself, but 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 the remnant is coming back down. The remnant is coming back down. They're coming back to find the church of true worship. And the reason why God has us in the house, come on, because in the New come Testament, on, come on, come on. that's where they were. That's where they could be found. Come on, somebody. They weren't in a big edifice somewhere. Come on, in the tent of meetings is wherever they decided they wanted to dwell and stop and worship. Yes. When they exited from, from, from Egypt in the book of Exodus, that's what they did. And that's why the church is going back there. That's why I went moved about the building. Because I know what God said to this house. Yeah. Can't be moved about what he said to nobody else. But I know what he said to us. And he said, I got to take you back there. Come, Come on, somebody. So you can get my word. So you can get my wisdom. Come on, because sometimes we think we got it and we don't. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. He said, sometimes you think you got it and you don't. That's why the foolishness of this world is 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 is, is not a, a encompassing upon the gospel. The gospel yes. is, is is foolishness to those who don't believe. Yes. I was trying to minister to some people today. They was looking at me like I was crazy. And I thought about this scripture. And I was like, God, come on. It's foolishness to those who don't believe. Yeah. Let me finish my, my scripture here so I can get to where, where, where we need to be at. <laughs> he says, but, but, but I will come to you shortly. If the Lord will. Now, see, that, that's another issue right there. If the Lord will. See, we, we, we don't have a spirit of obedience no more. Mm. Mm. I know I just we don't know how to follow anymore. Mm, we just want to lead. Mm. We don't know how to be obedient anymore. We just want to lead. See, because the world has put that foolishness in us that, you know, I'm grown just like you. Come on, I'm, I'm a grown. Stuff. What they say, I'm a grown amen. I'm a grown a woman. Yeah. Don't nobody tell me what to do. See, that's, see, that's, the, that's the wisdom of the world. Yeah. And that's why you ain't had, got nothing now. Yeah. <laughs> he says, but I will come to you shortly if the Lord will. <laughs> And will know not the speech of them which are puffed up, uh. but the power. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on. Do you do you hear the speeches of those who are puffed up on, yes. on, on TV? I turned the TV on the other night. You know how you just kind of be looking for a word? Come on, somebody. You, you, you're looking on Christian Network, trying to find a word because that's what's supposed to be on there. It's the word of the Lord. And you, you run into all of these cosmetic uh, uh, words. All these things, all I saw was eyelashes and weed. Come on, somebody, oh and big bowls on the neck. And I'm like, is that her? Where's her neck at? What's going on? Because I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking to hear a word from God, and you're giving me the cosmetics of ministry. Come on. And you're telling me how we market over here, and how we, I talked y'all the other night, how we market over here, and you join us next week. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and somebody's sitting at home contemplating on throwing out their brains, and this is what you're giving them. Come on, somebody. Come on. I said, God, when you do bless us with TV ministry, I bet we coming on with the Lord. We don't have time to be standing in front of the thing talking about, you know what, and you better join us tonight. Join, meet us here. Right. Tucked up. Uh, Popped up. Uh, That's why God needed this fasting time for us so, so we can reconnect with Him. Yes. Because you got, He said, you, you need to humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. If you don't, I will bring you a base. Well, come, come on, we don't need them kind of warnings. Come on, somebody. <laughs> you ain't got to tell me but once. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> he says, for the kingdom of God, I'm in verse 20 now. For the kingdom of God is not in word. But it is in power. Come on. Come on. The, 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 he says, what will ye? Shall I come unto you with a rod? Or in love? And in the spirit of meekness? Mm. The kingdom of God is not in word. But it is in power. The kingdom of God is not in your chicken. But it is in bastard. Come on. I'm just saying something. We, 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 we've got to get back to the things of the world. Of the Bible, excuse me, and get away from the things of the world. The wisdom of God is ever at hand for us. The Bible is so. I was just listening to the Bible today. As far as disturbed about having to train somebody, so I was like, when I cross my sanctuary, I'm listening to First Corinthians chapter eight. I don't have the time. I'm gonna try to lay in the word. Come on, we got a revival next week. Come on, that I got to preach it. I don't have the. Come on. I need to be able to lay in the word while I'm riding on the two fifteen, because I need the word of God. That that that's what's gonna correct my spirit. 
That's what's going to do is something in me that nobody else can do. I want you to highlight that in your Bible. For the kingdom of God is in is, is, is not in word, but it's in power. And I want you to understand, you teachers, when you get ready to preach, uh, or teach, excuse me, because that's what you do, you teach. Uh, 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 it, 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 it's not in the wisdom of your words. Nobody cares. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody cares about your little notes and how you prepare them and how everything is highlighted and color code. Nobody cares. Where's the power at? What, 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 what kind of word are you bringing to us that's going to give life to us? What, what, what are you going to, uh, 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 what, what can we leave here saying, oh my gosh, Shemash, she, no, she told that scripture, uh, look, look, I'm a new creature in Christ. What can, can we leave with that kind of fire from the word that you give? Yeah. That's a question you need to ask yourself. Can, can, can that lead? What are they leading? How am I going to be effective? Come on, come on. Or is, is it just my notes? The Bible said you said to show yourself approved, not us. Come on. A workman need to not be ashamed. And so when you're not ashamed, you can get up and open it up and come on and put the, not the scrolls open. Come on, somebody. Come on. When you really study in the word of God, when the word is really made effect, true effect in your heart, it comes with power. Yeah. That's why you can't tell me you saved and you read your Bible and I, it's, I'm looking at a raggedy light. Come on. Because the Bible changes you. The word of God changes you. What the man of God said a couple weeks ago is basic instructions before leaving earth. And so why can't we get the instructions right? Because we want to be puffed up. We want to be high in knowledge field. The Bible said a letter killer. Even even to knowing too much. You know how you get around people who quote the scriptures and know them where they at and all of that? Right. You know Romans 8.28 and Romans said this, this, And then you be, I can't, I'll be like, look, what? Is it in you, sir? Because because if we should come on, you quoting it to us. Is it in you? Right. I know you can tell us what about it, but that just may be your photographic memory. Come on, somebody. I don't talk. Come on, I know I just said something like that. Yeah. A lot of people got photographic minds, mm -hmm. and they can photograph where it is to tell you about it. Come on, and a, a good preacher can get up and just you can give them one scripture, and boom, there they go. See, see that 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 that, that that's that's just the, that's your talent. Oh, that's but the, that, that's your puffed up, charismatic. But the Bible says the kingdom of God is, is, is not in word, but it is in power. I want you to turn to this one here because I, I, got, I got two more scriptures, I believe. <laughs> I believe. Just, 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 just rock with me. Just rock with me. First, first Thessalonians. See, I like the Old Testament because, and I like the New too, don't get me wrong, but the Old Testament allows me to tell the story. See, the New Testament is just direct knowledge. It's direct word. It's, direct, it's, it's just direct. Come on, because Paul just came out with it. Ha, <laughs> ha. In 1 first first Thessalonians, excuse me, in the first uh, chapter, but we're in verse 5. For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power. It says, and in the Holy Ghost, and as you know, this Holy Ghost is capitalized, and in much assurance as, as you know what manner of men we were among you uh, uh, for your sake, come on, because we, we were some killers. We can't. We were thugs in the city. You, you, you knew what you knew what we used, what set we used to claim. Come on, and now we on that HG set. We on that Holy Ghost right now. Come on, and so and, and, and you became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. so that we were examples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. Did y'all see that? And for from you sounded out the word of our Lord, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but also in every place your faith to, to, to God word is spread abroad so that we need not to speak anything. Come on, come on. For, for, for they themselves show of us what manner of entering we had unto you and, 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 and how you turned to God from idols and, and to serve the living and true God. Come on, my Bible got a capital G on it. Come on, and to wait for his son from heaven, which he raised from, excuse me, whom he raised from the dead, that even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. The word. Come on, the, the, the top of it starts out by the, for, for the gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in what? Power. Because the Holy Ghost gives you power. 
It gives you power. The, 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 the power of God is what changes men. Did you see this right here? He said, and he became followers of us, be, uh, of the Lord, because, because you received the word in much affliction uh, uh, with the joy of the Holy Ghost. Did y'all see that? See, you don't change men. You, 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 you can't just change them by your lifestyle. Come on, I know I'm saying yeah. something right here. Because the Bible said you change them by your word and the joy of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, that's it. You give them the Holy Ghost and you give them the word. You don't give them you. They don't need you. Amen. I'm talking to us that's in Walmart. I'm talking to you that's consumers. I'm talking to you that's in Target. I'm talking to you that feel like you might want to witness one day. Well, you need to be witnessing every day. But to feel like you, listen, I want to go out today and be a soul winner for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You need to give them the word. Yeah. And especially men. And I said this before. My son likes knowledge. He likes yeah. facts. Yeah. Men like facts. They don't like, see, women, we get all of the hell. <laughs> that's us. Men like facts. They like information. Mm -hmm. Come on, I do too. Come on, I, I, I'm like, God, you, you made me right to be a woman because if I was a man, I would not be no joke. I'm telling you right now, you, couldn't, you, couldn't, you can't throw nothing over my head now, John. And so you absolutely wouldn't be able to do it if I was. <laughs> mm -mm. The word, the power. And I'm going to take a minute to talk about the power of God. And I want y'all to hear this when I, when I break this open, the power of God. The power of God. The, just the, the, the power. We know that all power rests in his hands. Yes. The keys. He got the keys to hell. And, 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 and all power was given unto him. Come on, from, from, from God, it was given unto him. I, I want you to walk with me through this story about the Ark of the Covenant. I want you to walk with me about the story of, of, of the Ark of the Covenant. Because back in that day, that was the beaming power of God. Come on, are y'all with me here? The, God told Moses to, 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 to architect, Come on. to put together, to build an ark, put the testimonies in it of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. put, put, he told him exactly how to, how to work it and how to shape it. I'm not going, I'm not going to go to it because, come on, because I can. Come on, somebody. Because, because, because he, he told him exactly what to put in. I want, I want two angels here. I want four angels here. I want these many wings on this one, this many wings on that one. I want this one facing that way and this one facing. Come on. It was, it was, it was direct strategic architecture about the power of the Lord. That, 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 was the, that he wanted to abide in certain places where the children of Israel were. Come on, somebody, so he could, so, so, so a sweet smelling savor could be coming up from the Ark of the Covenant at all times. Come on, I, I, just, I just want y'all to take a walk with me. Come on, come on. Because we've been talking about the tenor meetings. We've been talking about our destiny places. Come on, come on. And today we're in a destiny position. Come on, how many feel still that they're in a destined place yes. right now in their lives? In the mighty name of Jesus, that nobody can take you from it. Come on. Come on, can't nobody take from me what I know God got for me now. Come on, somebody, Come on. because the, 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 we read about uh, 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 Jabez, but now that I know, ah. you can't come for me. Come on, stay away from me. Right. The power of God in the Ark of the Covenant. Come the power of God was in the Ark of the Covenant. Well, let me let me take you to this story. Come on, y'all follow me. Come on, we talking about the power of God. We talking about the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That 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 the joy of the Holy Ghost comes with that. Come on, somebody. And so so that's why David was saying, "The joy of the Lord is my strength." Can't nobody take from me what God has given me. That's why he rose up and said, I was glad when they said unto me, come, let us go into the house of, I came running when they said unto me, come on, let's, let's go into the house of the Lord. Because that's where I get my strength. Amen. Come on, and I, I used to pray, and I, and I don't pray like that no more, I need to get back to that. Come on, shut the doors of the houses that ain't praising them like that. Shut the doors when you can't get no strength from the household of it. Come on, somebody, shut the doors of the church. Yes. And open up another one that's giving them praise in your name. Yes. The power of God. In the Ark of the Covenant. Let's go to uh, 1 Samuel. I want to show y'all something. Y'all make me switch out my earrings. And stuff like that. And stuff like that. 1 Samuel chapter 6. I want to show you something about the Ark of the Lord. The Ark of the Covenant. And that's why wherever we go, wherever the tent of meetings is, you need to make sure you treat it like it's a real sanctuary. Come on, I know I just said something right there. You yeah. need to make sure you're on time. I don't care if you live here or not. You need to make sure you come out when it's time for church, on time. Yeah. yeah. Because see, if, what if the remnant decide to knock on the door tonight? Yeah. What if the remnant decide they, they hear us from Cheyenne and Martin King because the way she was praying, they could probably hear us from yeah. the street. Yeah. And so what if they decide?
decide, I want to go do, do, do. What y'all you, have in church? Come on, somebody. What if they decide that? Come on. See, that's the kind of, those are the kind of people we have to be ready for. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Not this dumb stuff that we're doing, having Prophet Green come in and all this kind of stuff. And, 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 and he came from Mississippi and don't have a word. And we don't pay all this money to see and hear from him. Come on. Come on, I know what I'm talking about because I was just at a I was just at a revival. Come on, and I was so mad. I was like, God, he ain't got nothing to say to us, and we don't pay. They don't pay this money for him to come in here, and he come ain't on. got nothing to say to the people of God. We didn't leave there encouraged. Mm -hmm. We left there mad. I left there mad because I wasted makeup and a pair of nylons and a dress. What? Come on, oh. mm -hmm. had sweat a little bit. I could have just went straight to bed. Come on, I have to go and take another shower. <laughs> come on, y'all, ladies. Come on, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Six, six, and we're in. Let's let's start at uh, let's start at verse eight. And the Bible says, "And David was displeased because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzzah, and he called the name of the place Peruza, and uh, uh, to to this day." Now, what happened was is Uzzah uh, 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 touched the ark of the covenant was not supposed to fail dead. Did y'all hear what I said? Touch the power of God and you were not supposed to and you ended up dead. Yeah. And come on, so God, that's why I pray. God, forgive us for what we made it because we don't want to touch nothing that we're not supposed to touch. It, 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 come on, come on. We don't want to touch nothing we're not supposed to touch. We end up dead just like him. Yeah. Yeah. And he ended up dead because the ark was falling off and he ran up there to try to help. Come on, trying to do a good deed and die. Come yeah. on there. Obedience is obedience. Come on. Obedience is obedience. Disobedience is disobedience, but obedience is obedience. And you can die because of it. Come on, come on. God forgive us. God have mercy on our souls yes, right now tonight. Yes, and so he says, and David was afraid of the Lord that day. Come on, because the fear of God has set up in him because you just killed the man. Come on, somebody. God, you just knocked him off. You just knocked him off. The Bible says, and David was afraid of the Lord that day and said, how shall the ark of the Lord come to me? Come on, because I don't want to be the next to die. And so David, so David would not remove the ark of the Lord into the city of David, but carried it outside into the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite. Are right, y'all, come on, I need y'all to walk with me on this right here. He carried him to the ark of the covenant, um, excuse me, to Obed-Edom, the, the, the house of the Gittite. Now, Gittite was someone who did not believe in the Lord God, capital G, capital L. He did not believe in the Lord God. And so you carry the, 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 the ark to the house of an unbeliever because they needed a place to do it. Come on, because because the city, let's make sure the city cleaned up before the power of God gets in there. Come on, let's make sure everybody cleaned up because we don't want what's happened to you to happen to nobody else. So put it in his house because he's a non-believer. If he dies, let him die. But, 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 but we don't want to die. Come on, the Bible says he was afraid of God all that day. Are y'all looking at the Bible here? Come on, because I ain't making this up. He said all that day. And so he said that the, the Ark of the Covenant continued in the house of Obed-Edom. This is the part that I like right here. It continued on in the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite, for three months, 90 days. And the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and all of his household. The Lord blessed the Gittite and all of his household. Come on, he blessed him because of the power of God. Come on, are y'all looking at that? He, we, we, you get blessed because of the power of God. You get blessed through the power of God, even when you're a non-believer. Uh -huh. That's why when, we are, when, when people are preaching on the street corner, they can lay hands and the sick can recover because of the power of God. Come on, we're walking arcs of the covenant. Come on, somebody, y'all. Come on, come on, somebody. That, that, that was the Holy Spirit in action. Come on, that was the Holy Spirit just sitting there beaming in Obed Edom's house. Come on, imagine coming home, going to work, being off. Like, what is this? Why do they have this in my house? You walking across it, come on, and get to the kitchen. Come on, somebody. The power of God just beaming in your house. Come on, imagine the glory of the Lord just sitting in your presence. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Come on. You ever notice you be in church service sometimes? Not in our church because we know what to do in the glory of the Lord. Come in. Um, the Lord has taught us. Come on. Come on. Through showing up what to do with the glory of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Come on. Because he shows up for us. Come on. Glory be to God. And so when the presence of the Lord shows up, you got to know when to shut up, move. Come on. Come on. Pray this shit. To preach it, come on. You got to know not 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 to come between it. You come on. You got to let the thickness continue to gather. Come on, somebody. Come on. You ever seen the thickness of the Lord gather and then somebody just knock it off? 
Hmm. Somebody stop playing some dumb song. Come yeah. on, somebody. Come on, y'all ain't yeah, saying so. nothing. Huh. Yeah. And so, Obed even knew what to do. Yeah. Obed even knew what to do. Because the glory of the Lord just beaming. Mm. And I believe that that's what the Lord is doing in this house. And I told the members that live in this house to, 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 to gather up the testimonies. Pay attention to the presence of the Lord that's sitting right. Do you know what a privilege and what an honor it is for the, for the glory of the Lord to be sitting in your house? Come on. Mm -hmm. And so now that we're talking about the physical house, do you know what a, pri a privilege and an honor it is yes. for the glory of the Lord to sit in this house? Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. And when we start fasting, come on, it gets greater. Mm. And the reason why the devil tries to make your flesh act up and make you hungry because he does not want you to get to that place in God. Mm. He doesn't want you to get to that place in God. Come on. See, we can have church anywhere. You know why? Because mm, the ark of the covenant is within us. So everywhere we go, come on, we're taking it. Come on, just like the children of Israel, they took the tent, they took the ark wherever the tent of meeting was. Mm -hmm. That's how they started our service. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. That's how we need to wake up in our day in the morning. Mm -hmm. Come on, are y'all getting that thing? Yeah. Obed Edom for 90 days. He had the ark of the covenant in his house. And that's how long the Lord said we need to stay here. 90 days. See, you, we see, we can't worry about what, what's going on elsewhere. We got to worry about. Mm. Come on, do y'all know what I'm saying when I say that? You, do you do? Do you know that the, the monks and, and, and a lot of people use that meditation practice? Yeah. Mm. yeah. They use that. They call it Om because it, it it makes the body beam. Come on, that's the glory of the Lord. That's what the presence of the Lord wants to do on the inside of us. It wants to permeate us like that. Yes. Come on, y'all. Come on. They use they use a, a wine corks to, to, to put here. Mm. Yeah. Meditation practice. Mm -hmm. But that's the glory. Come on, that's 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 the spirit of divination as well. Yes. But the glory of the Lord wants to beam on us. Come on, come on. David said, meditate on my word day and night. Not no corkscrew. Not no home. Yeah. Come on, somebody. He says, and it was told to King David, the Lord had blessed the house of Obed Edom. By this time, you should have your house in order. It's been 90 days. By this time, the kingdom should be in order. I'm talking about the city, because Obed Edom was a Gittite. He didn't know the Lord Come on. until the glory of the Lord rested in his house. Come on, I just said, somebody, y'all missed a shot. He didn't know the Lord until the glory of the Lord rested in his house. Mm. See, when I go home at night, daughter, and I open the door, it's peace. Yeah. You know why? Because when I leave, I leave peace. When I leave, I leave the angels. And all right, y'all take care of the stuff. All right, and I'm out. <laughs> when I sleep at night, it's peace. You know why? Because and come on, and, and, and that just didn't come by happenstance. Come on, I worked hard for that. That's why I came to live with me. Come on, Amen. somebody. Because you can't bring that that garbage over here. Because come on, we got peace. What? Now you? We don't have water here. Come on, we got peace <laughs> on this side. Juice? I don't drink juice. Come on, we got peace on this side. So pass in there if you want that. But we got peace on this side. So you gotta watch your you got you have to watch that people of God. Even with the people that say they're people of God, you gotta watch that spirit, that using spirit, that man, that spirit of manipulation. I don't have a place to stay. Well, you know, you're supposed to be a Christian. You're supposed to help me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, give me a call when you get settled. <laughs> It was told to King David. Let me leave that alone, because see, that was me yesterday. And I was like, look, sis, let me drop you off. Because you don't got on my nerves. <laughs> I like peace. Yeah. And once my peace gets disturbed, yeah. I, 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 I have a problem. Yeah. And I start not liking you. Yeah. <laughs> so the Bible says that it was told to King David, saying, the Lord hath blessed the house of Obed-Edom, and all that pertaineth unto him. You see that when the glory of God is, is, is in your house, 
He blesses all that pertain unto you. The, 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 let me put it this way. David said he, he will perfect those uh. things which concern you. I think uh. that's Psalm 68 or 66, 66 and 8 or something like that. He said he will perfect those things that concern you. And so whatever is on your heart tonight, God yes, said, God. I will perfect yes, that God. thing which concerns you. Because I want, I, the, the, mm. my glory comes to bless everything that pertains unto him. Everything in his house. I'm talking about the pictures on the wall. Everything. I, 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 I come to, to perfect that which that thing which concerns you tonight. See, that's why I love when Paul said, cast your cares on Peter. Or Peter said, cast your cares on Jesus because he cares for you. Come on. If didn't nobody know Peter knew, come on, somebody. He walked with him every day. I can put my cares at his feet because he said he would perfect those things that concerned me. That's why it's, it's, it's not good for me to be to, to worry because he said he's going to perfect that situation for me. Come on, y'all. Come on. That'll preach all by itself right there. Come on. He says, and, and, and pertain to him because of the ark of God, because of the power of God. Come on, somebody. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom into the city of David with gladness. If I was Obed-Edom, I would have been mad. Because now you 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 put it in my house because y'all was scared, and now y'all see how I'm getting blessed. Now y'all wanna now y'all wanna get in on the blessing. Come on, what happened when you were scared, David? Go back to being scared. The Bible says he brought it up there with gladness, and, and it was so when when they bear the ark of the Lord that that had gone uh, uh, six places. Of sac uh, uh, he sacrificed oxen and, and fatlings, and David danced before the Lord with all of his might. Come on, and David and and, and David was girded with a, a linen ephod. So David and all of the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet, because now we know that this is a power. Now we know from Obed Edom's mouth. Come on, all the blessings that he received. Come on, we ready to bring that kind of blessing into the land. Come on, somebody, the power of God needs to come into the land from you. Come on. Are y'all looking at that? You are the Ark of the Covenant. Now, come on. If the Ark of the Covenant resides in you via the Holy Ghost, yeah. via the power of God, via the power of his word. Come on. That's how you get saved. Come on. He said, faith come by here and here come by the word of God. Yeah. Come on. And the power comes by the word and the joy that's bestowed to us via the Holy Ghost. Yes. Come on, y'all. Come on. He says, and the Ark of the Covenant, I mean, and as the Ark, come on, this 16, come on, because you always got some haters. I told you you got a Luke Skywalk on them. I'm going to show you how David Luke Skywalk on this hater called Macau. <laughs> he says, come on, shoot. He said, don't sleep. You got to stay up. <laughs> don't wait to jump in too long. Come on, y'all, y'all, y'all got to listen to the song. Come on, somebody. Say, good things come to those who wait up. Come on, let me just say this thing. And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, come on, I listen to it all the time, so I know what I'm talking about. Michael, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, and she despised him in her heart. Hater. She was a hater. Now, we just told you about the power of the Ark of the Covenant. I'm sure because he, she was his wife, she knew about what happened in Obed Edom's house, and you still hating on me. So I got a Luke Skywalk and I still got a praise. Because, because what you don't understand is what happened in Obed Edom's house. We, I, I'm trying to make that happen for you, sis. And you want to hate on this? Uh, he said, look. Uh, let me read, let me read the <laughs> He says, and then they brought the Ark of the Covenant and set it in its place in the midst of the tabernacle. Come on in church. Come on. Come on. And, 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 and in a place in the midst of the tabernacle that David's uh, 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 Wait a minute. Move, move it over. Had pitched for it, and David offered uh, burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. Come on, he looked. That's how he was Luke Skywalker on it right there, because he already knew what time was. She looking outside the window at him. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, look at the king. Come on. And, and, wow. and, and as soon as David made an end of a burnt offerings uh, and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts. Come on, somebody. Come, Come on. on. And, and he dwelt He dealt among all the people, even of the whole multitude of Israel, as well as the women, as, as, as uh, uh, well to the women as men, and, and to everyone a, a cake of bread. Come on. He blessed everybody because the Ark of the Covenant, the power of the Lord is here. Yeah. Yeah. And the way it blessed Obed Edom, that's how I wanted to bless this land. Come on, somebody. He's yeah. the 
sorry, but they see that's why Pastor Cook all the time. Because I want you to be blessed. Come on, by the fruit of my hands, because I'm a servant. Yes. Come on, y'all not saying nothing. Come on, we cooking Sunday. Come on. And and, and, and God, he, he, he blessed them because you, you're in a place where you can beam up right now. Come on. You're in a place where mm, it's going on yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. And so when God is doing that for you, what you going to do? Come on. You got to give him some praise. Give him some worship because he's still mm, on your behalf. Yes. See that? Mm, I keep you from complaining. Come on. But if you're a hater, it won't because my cat was still hating. But you got to loose that walk on Come on, y'all, I, 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 y'all, he say every cake, a, 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 a cake of bread and a, and a good piece of, of flesh, come on, somebody, nice steak, come on, and, and a flagon of wine, come on, I want you to go home and have a good time, cook for your family, come on, barbecue in his name, come on, y'all not look at the scripture right, and so all the people departed, every one to his house, come on, to turn them charcoal grills on, come on, and then David returned to bless his household, come on, somebody, yeah. he returned to bless his own household, come yeah. on, this heifer right here, come on, hey, still, 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 after you saw all of that, you still, come on, you have, you ever meet people who yeah. stand blessed, yeah. and, 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 yeah. and they see all that God has done for you, they know it's, they know it's God, see, they know God did, uh -huh. they still won't be hating, look, hating, but no. I tell the daughter of Saul came to meet David. How glorious was the king of Israel today. <laughs> Who uncovered himself in the eyes of the handmaids of his servants as one of the vain fellows shamelessly uncovered himself. David looked at Michael. It was before the Lord which chose me before thy father. Come on, come on. Before your daddy was involved in my life, come on, I had a capital L, Lord. Come on now. Come on. I was a sheep person before I met you and your daddy. Come on. I, I, come on. He pulled me out of, of the wilderness with the sheep. Come on. I am somebody. Come on, come on. He had to go Jesse Jackson on. See? He says to her, and before all his house, to appoint me ruler over the people of, of the Lord, over Israel. Therefore, I will. Uh, uh, I will, I will I play before the Lord and I will yet be more vile than this now and will be based in my own sight come yeah. on I'll be proud I'll dance out of my clothes in my own sight because the power of the Lord is here come on y'all y'all not saying come on I know they don't want to do I know he was yelling at her by now and he said and, and, and the maid servants which thou hast spoken of of them shall I be had in honor come on come on they appreciated it come on because they know they blesses you don't Come on, y'all. Yes. Listen. He says, therefore, my cow, the daughter of Saul, had no child until the day of her death. Look, I'll shut up your womb if you don't bless me. I'll shut up your womb if you don't recognize the power of God. Come on. It's in the book. I can just make that up. I can just say that. I just damn nobody's womb. The Bible says that. And the Lord is, 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 is pleased with us because of the Ark of because because we recognize the Ark of the Covenant. Yes. Come on, I, I I gave you this this story so that you could recognize the Ark of the Covenant yes. that sits in this home, Obedinu, and also that sits in you. Yes. The glory of the Lord. The gospel is foolishness to those who do not believe. The glory of the Lord is foolishness to those who do. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for huh. those who do not believe. Michael did not believe. Huh. He was the huh. daughter of the house of Saul. I was the daughter of the house of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. See. <laughs> So all the handmaidens, they received them because they knew what time it was. You, you couldn't appreciate it. You couldn't appreciate what the Lord had done for you, for y'all. Come on, Did, I, I told you. I know men and wife uh, uh, have have uh, man and wife have pillow talk. And so I know he laid down and told her what was going on with the ark. Yeah. We need, baby, we need a place for the ark. So we put that on that Edom's house, and I don't know what's going. Come on, y'all know. Come on, come on, you know what time it is. Come on. Pillow talk. Come on, you have pillow talk with your girl. You know what? Yeah, can I, you, you biz, you got a minute? Yeah, we put the ark in Obed Edom's house, and I just don't even know what's going on. But girl, I heard. Come on. See. And everything pertaining to him is being blessed. Yeah. Come on, him, the house, come on, the cat, the dog. Come yeah. on, the, the, the dog just had a litter of, of, of puppets. Come, come on, on y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Everything that pertained to him. Uh, God. Come on, the refrigerator just ran over with food. Yeah, because God. everything, come on, I'm prophesying to you. Oh, everything that pertained to you shall be blessed. Uh, Every bill paid. Come uh, on, the, the old man even got a raise on his job. Come yeah. on, he's doing good, girl. Uh, got a new car. Uh, come on, y'all. Everything that pertained to you, I want to bless. Yes, God. Because of the glory of the Lord. Yes, God. 
Yes, sir. Come on, somebody. Yes, Come on. The glory of the Lord. Let me, let me get back to you. Because the Bible says that the power of the Lord. Come on, get, get, get back to 1 Corinthians 4. Because I, I want you to have this in your heart. I want you to map this down in your spirit. 4 and 20. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but it is in power. For the blessings of God were not in, in, in obeying the deeds, but it was in the ark of the covenant that David beamed in the house. David was afraid all that day, the Bible says, of the glory of the Lord because it had killed a man and he just wanted to kill him. And so we need to be careful how we handle the word of the Lord. Come on, the power of the Lord. Come on, this is nothing for us to play with. The, 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 the Paul said that now some are puffed up. I, I, I don't want to come to you like that. I want to come to you in the power of God. Yes. Michael's puffed up. The cow puffed up. Hey, not sure about the presence of the Lord. How many have really been in the presence of the Lord? Yes. And the glory of the Lord has really fallen on you. Come on, come on. The weight of the glory of God yeah. has fallen on you. Come on, somebody. If you if you remember this church, it's happened several times. But 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 I just I, I'm just saying. Come on, come, and we don't take that lightly because it takes a lot of work. Come on, especially when the atmosphere is thick with sin. Come yeah. on, you got to cut through that. Come on, y'all. Yeah. You, you got to cut through that. And see, that's that's the kind of stuff that, that that we don't have time for. We can just you notice how we can just slip right into the glory and the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Come on, and I, I thank God for that spirit that that lies upon you. Come on, you got to give give God thanks for your own self. easy for us to, to dwell in. Come on. That's what was in Obed-Edom's house. Mm. That's what's in this house. Mm. Power of the Lord. Yes. Thinking not sure. nothing. God does nothing by surprise. Right. He makes no mistakes. Right. Come on. The Bible says all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and who are the called according to all of its working together, even our mistakes. Yes. Come on, even the stuff you did last night, the things you thought of before you turned your car off to come in the house. All of it is working together for the good of the mm -hmm. Lord. Because he loves you. He's called you. Come on, and you, you're near and dear to him. Amen. Come on, let's stand on our feet. The kingdom of God is not in word, but it is in power. And notice the word has a, a small W. I meant to say that. It has a small W in that word. Come on, let, let, let challenge yourself to get in the Word. We got one more day of fasting. We're fasting from sunup to sundown. And um, um, we need to be uh, as faithful as you can be. I absolutely understand. And the Lord understands too. He's not, he's not holding you accountable if you don't fast. But it's your obedience of the matter that makes a difference. Come on, stretch those hands up to God and just surrender to Him now. Let him know you sorry if you have a spirit like Michael's and Cal. Let him know that 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 that, that, that this the, the power, your power, God, is nothing to be played with. It's nothing to be messed with. Help me to handle it with care. As you endow me with your power, God, and as you continue to fill me with the precious Holy Ghost, it's just that it's precious. It's precious to me, God. Hallelujah. It's the power of God that gives me life. It's the power of the capital W word that gives me life, oh God. Hallelujah. Give me a hunger and a thirst for righteousness tonight. Give me a hunger and a thirst because you said those who hunger and thirst they, for righteousness shall be filled. Hallelujah. And, 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 and that righteousness can be found in your word. So set my eyes to read your word, God. Set my spirit, oh God. Convict me, oh God. And then move my heart up on your word, God, so that I can read it, oh God. Give me a, give, give, give me a hunger to read your word, oh God. Wet, give me an appetite, God, so, so, so that I can read your word, God. And wet my appetite, God, as I read it, oh God, so I can be filled with the Holy Ghost, oh God. So I can begin to spit light even into myself, into my own family, and in my own home, in the mighty name of Jesus. We're calling forth the bread of heaven to feed us now as we study, oh God. Anoint the sun time of these your saints in the mighty name of Jesus. Anoint the word hour, oh God. Call the word hour, oh God. Yeah. Begin to call us out, oh God, in the middle of the night, in the middle of the day, to just begin to read your word, to study. Give us a hunger for it, oh God, so we can yeah. chomp on it, God, and get it in chunks in our spirit, oh God, so it can begin to change who we are. It can begin to change the way we think. It can begin to 
change the way we pray, oh God. It can begin to change the way we stand, the way we look at a matter in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you are the righteous judge. And as we continue to read your word, oh God, we become the same way. We become righteous in your eyesight, oh God. Because our righteousness is in the filthy rags. But if we do it in your eyesight, God, hallelujah, we'll be righteous with the capital R, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come circumcise our hearts tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Circumcise our hearts. Hearts, oh God. Turn our will. We turn our will over to you right now. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. We turn it over to you, God. The things that we're still holding on to, yes, God, we yes, surrender God. them to you, God. We yes, just lay them at your feet tonight, yes, oh God. Yes. You said we could. Hallelujah. You yes, said it was just that simple. You said just cast them on me, God. You said just to turn them over to me. Yes, oh. It's just that simple. We yes. don't have to carry it, oh God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. We don't have to walk with it. We don't have to, we don't have to ponder on it. Yes. You said you perfect those things that concern yes, us, God. Yes, God. Even the things that are bad, even the yes, things God. that are good, even the yes, things God. that are not of a good report. Come you on. said you will perfect those things that concern us, yes, oh God. Yes, and so yes, lift God. those burdens off of us, God. Yes. We take your yoke tonight. Your yoke is easy and your burden is light, oh God. Hallelujah. We come into you tonight so we can get some good rest. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come into you tonight so the cloak of peace can be among us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come into you tonight thanking you for just being yes. God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. You don't have to do nothing, just the glory of the Lord. Yes. Come on, it says it pertained, it blessed everything that pertained to him. Yes. The glory of the Lord blesses us regardless. Hallelujah, we didn't have to ask for nothing. The glory of the Lord blesses us regardless. And so God, I release the glory of the Lord to go in every home that's represented here today. And when we get there, come on. Come on.